So in this video, we're gonna look at diagnosing canvas with a multimeter in the volt setting. This time, we're going to put some faults on the network and see what readings we get. If you haven't already seen the video of me checking a good network, go and watch that first. To stay up to date with the latest videos here on Mechanic Mindset, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you click the bell icon, you can turn on notifications so you're always made aware when we upload a new video. So let's get into it then. First of all, we're gonna short the two wires together to see what reading we get on the voltmeter. Then we're gonna have a look at what a short circuit to ground looks like and a short circuit to positive. After that, we'll do an open circuit on the can high and can low, see what readings we get. Unless you're comfortable with what you're doing, I wouldn't recommend you try this at home. Um, I'm using a fuse link here. So if I do make any mistakes with what I'm shorting out, at least the fuse will just blow and it won't damage the car. So we're connected up to can low at the minute and we've got a reading of 2.3 volts. Let's short the network to ground and see what we get. So I'm on a ground there. Let's short that can low to ground. Okay, it's just gone to zero volts. Okay, still taking a measurement on the can low wire. What I'm gonna do now is short the can high to ground. So there again, we've pretty much gone down to zero volts. And all sorts of things have started happening because the network isn't happy with what's going on. We've killed the network. Do the same activity with can high. We're measuring the can high now. Network's okay, we're at 2.6 volts. So if we short that to ground, no surprises, we've gone down to zero volts. Short can low to ground. Slightly different there, we're about 0.7 volts. Now that's because of the resistors in the network. We're not quite getting a dead short between the two. So there'll be a slight difference. Now, depending on the vehicle, you might find that one of the wires goes directly to zero and the other is slightly above zero. I usually find that that's the case with most Volkswagen Group vehicles. However, if you check both and they're both low and one's at zero, the one that's closest to zero will be the one that's shorted to ground. So now I'm carefully gonna short the network to positive and we're gonna see what readings we get. Okay, we're in a positive there. We've shorted it to 11.5 volts there. So if we check the one we're not measuring, so if we put the short on the other wire now, similar reading there, 11.4 volts. So let's now check can low, that fault was on can high. Short that to positive, again, 11.6 volts. And on the other wire, 11 volts. So again, there's a slight difference between the two there and that's because of the resistor. When you're checking for a short to positive, the wire with the highest voltage on will be the one that's directly shorted to positive. Okay, so for the final short circuit test, what we'll do is we'll short them together. Okay, so we're short circuit now and we've got about 2.47 on both lines. So what you can see there is it's actually going towards the recessive voltage of canvas of 2.5 volts. If they're both measuring that same voltage around 2.5 volts, you know you've got a mutual short together. Okay, so last test, we're gonna put an open circuit on each of the wires and see what voltage we get. So the red ones can low, we'll do that one first. So I'm carefully opening the connector. I'm gonna pin out can low. Let's connect it back up, and see what we get. Okay, so on the open circuit wire, we do see we have a bit more of an erratic voltage there, going around 2.2, 2.3 volts. It has dropped slightly. Wow, okay, so can high, we've got a massive difference. So 
Now we're looking at 3.4 volts. Let's have a look at what we get if we disconnect CAN high instead. Okay, so we've pulled CAN high out there. Let's plug it back in. So on the CAN high, we've got that voltage has gone up, so about 2.7. Of course, the network's really unbalanced now. And can low, we've gone down to around 1.5 volts. So massive differences there. So that could be quite tricky to diagnose. I think to summarize, if we've got an open circuit on can high, the can high voltage changes slightly, but the can low goes right down to 1.5 volts. And on the other side of that, if we put an open circuit on can low, the voltage doesn't change much on can low. However, can high voltage changes quite a bit and goes up to around 3.5 volts. So quite a useful check. However, you would really want to get the oscilloscope out to work out exactly what's happening. So go and check out those videos where I do a similar test with the oscilloscope connected.